Hi guys, so we are still at the Glitz Africa She Summit 2019 and AJ just walked off the panel discussion which she gave some amazing <laughs> insights. So we're going to have a short discussion with her. So hi AJ, it's been a while. It has. Uh, nice to see you guys again. I, I like Amaya on TV. Thank you, we love yeah. you too. <laughs> anyway, how's City going? How's you know, the transition? Good, going? good, good. Uh, the city is amazing. I mean, it's, it's a very positive space. There are fantastic people that work there. Uh, if you're in a place like City, like the, the vibe alone will keep you going. <laughs> so it's good. Um, uh, I, I'm now still in a... Well, obviously on radio and on TV, and now even doing marketing promotions for the stations. So it's it's good. It's, it's long hours, but it's good. How challenging is that? You know, having to do all these three things at a go. <laughs> There's never enough hours for me. So mm -hmm. I am doing a hundred things at once: uh, early morning, late evenings. Even when I'm home, I'm still thinking of uh, new concepts, new jingles, new LPMs, like the whole nine yards. So uh, even after I get off radio and off TV, I never tweet turn off so in a way it keeps me very active it's it, it, I'm constantly on the go constantly looking for inspiration everywhere I see and it works I, I'm someone who likes to be a busy bee I like right. to do a million things at once and if right. I don't I feel like I'm not being useful so it's a great opportunity for me and and, and I love it <laughs> do we miss our old space no um, I think everyone gets to a point where you move forward uh, Kwame Kwame was in Joe, like, forward you, you might always, <laughs> forward ever, backward never, you right. know, so, um, being, of course, it, it was a great time while I was at my previous employment, but being in a new space with new people, with new inspiration, with new challenges, with new developments and new ways to improve yourself, it's always a good thing, so, always move forward and, uh, yeah, every, everything just fits eventually. Right, so moving forward, <laughs> while you were on the panel, you yes. made mention of you seeing yourself in the next 10, 20 years taking, you know, a national office, is that something? Yeah, um, yes, I think. I believe in um, firstly conquering my space, so mm -hmm. I'm hoping to do as much as I possibly can in the media space that I've been given, uh, find every other avenue, become every possible role I can be, mm -hmm. and then look at taking all the experiences and all the challenges and then being able to push for legislative change for mm -hmm. some of the issues that affect mm -hmm. women, working women, um, working mothers, and generally be a face that can be relatable and someone who can be able to know the issues having been in the issues we were to push for a change in legislature for that so yes uh, is there a specific area we want to you know focus on when we get there in the next no years? obviously things that affect women um i be i personally believe uh three months uh, maternity, maternity leave is is not enough i mean we drop our kids at daycares and come back because we're expected to be superwoman but perhaps we should be able to push the boundaries a little bit more right. uh, in, in an acceptable way where both the employee and the employer is able to be beneficial. Uh, I believe in getting to a point where we can work from home and be able to be productive members of a group, a company, a project, but not having to be physically there in the space. Right. Technology is evolving and so should we. I mean, look at the amount of traffic that is on the road. <laughs> uh, between, you know, between the hours of six and 10, everyone is moving in one direction. Right. Between the hours of four, four to six. seven mm -hmm. or eight, everyone's moving in the opposite direction. Imagine right. if we're working at different hours with different schedules. Uh, people are coming in in the afternoon and their traffic patterns changing and generally a crowd going to a point where we are not all stuck at one place at the mm -hmm. same time mm -hmm. and becoming better and more happy and more productive people because we spend so many hours mm -hmm. in traffic that at the end of the day you're home grumpy yeah you, you don't want to work Less anymore productive. can you imagine and so these things should be have conversations that should be had I'm hoping by the time I even have to get there that other women before me would have pushed that agenda. I want to see more gender parity in politics. I want to see more female ministers. I want to see more women being able to push the agenda and not be men speaking on behalf of women. So I think in that particular regard, yes, absolutely. So whilst we are focusing on that, is there ever going to be a time you're going to say, okay, I think I've had enough of, you know, being on air, on radio, and I'm going to take a pause from it all, and then probably, you know, take a whole different direction in terms of your career? In life, no one is ever stagnant. Right. I wasn't, I wasn't born as a media person. Right. I learned how to be a media person. Right. I, I added more value to myself. I right. learned more. Right. Same way I can decide 
in 10 years from now to completely change my direction because if you f get to a point where you feel that mm, I need a change, you should be bold, um, empowered enough to be able to take that step and then change your own life. Not in, even in, in regards of career, but be able to make particular decisions that will affect you in a positive way. So if at some point, and I haven't lost the zeal for what I do, I love what I do, the passion drives me. I mean, I, I love being in the space I do, I love waking up in the morning and going to work. But if I get to a point where the love isn't there, why not? What stops me from deciding that, you know what, I have learned journalism, I have learned theatre art, I've learned political science, I am good with public relations, I'm good with communications, why not become a communications person? Absolutely. The best part about it is giving yourself options, you see. So just because you are on MLTV TV doesn't mean that you shouldn't learn to become an economics person, right. or you shouldn't learn to become a scientist, right. or you get the enough, enough qualifications 20 years from now, you can have options because that's what learning more avails you. Right. So as long as I have the options and I have right. the certificates to go for it, why not? I think to my last question, we had this discussion while we're inside, you know, um, society tends to put women who are on media, you know, women who are on the public out there in, in a box where, oh, you get to this age and you're getting married. Do you feel you are getting that kind of pressure now? Thankfully, I've been doing this thing for almost 10 years. Um, actually 11 years. Uh, so I started very young. So when I was starting, when I was doing it, and when I was making my mistakes, and when I was, I was moving up the ladder, I didn't have any pressure. I was 20, I was 18, I was 22, I was 25, and now I'm 27. So I have not had that pressure, thankfully, because of the, the age I started. Right. Which brings me to that starting early is always a good thing. Because at that point, you'll be able to go through the entire life cycle of the career before you get to a point. So when I decide that at 30 or at 35 or even 40, I decide that, okay, you know what, I think it's time for a family. I have been able to live out the entirety right. of it, experience every aspect that I can, and then focus on making a family or perhaps combining the two. Right. There's no rule that says I have to stop one thing to start another. Mm -hmm. There's no rule that says I can't combine the two and get it done. There's no rule that says, there's no rules at all. You make right. your own rules for your life. Um, there are a lot of pressures that come with being a female uh, who, who's excelling. I mean, there's society's opinion that a man if you get too educated, you get too powerful, you get too accomplished, a man will not want you. Right. But I think we've seen a lot of women, from Oheniere to Nanama, uh, McBrown, to a whole bunch of women who are telling you that, no, that societal myth, myth yeah. it's a lie. Right. I can be at 40 or 45 and then decide to have a family. I can be able to decide not to marry and have kids. You know, there are people that are living that example all around us. So family, of course, is very important. I think we, procreation is important. I want to have kids. Um, but there's no time limit for when I should have kids. Right. I'm not expired at 30. Right. I'm not expired at 35. I shouldn't stop media at 35 because right. there are new ones coming in. Matter of fact, it's, the onus is on me to train the ones coming up Absolutely. and to make them better than I would ever and hit the heights that I could never. So there's no timeline for anything. You're the master of your, your destiny and the captain of your fate. Right, ladies. So you're the master <laughs> of your destiny and the captain of your fate. Thank you so much, AJ. Always a pleasure talking to you. Oh.